Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. So today I have a little bit of things planned, uh, but first, well, it's hmm, it's Saturday and it's 11 a.m. Um, <laughs> Effie is only just going to bed now. She is quite tired and we have work to go to soon. Okay, so my game was stuttering and for some reason now it's fine. I don't know what was happening. It was really weird. Like, it just kept on cutting out. <laughs> okay, so Effie, I think what we're going to do is just have her get up and get ready for the day because I do really want to send her and her father off to the vet clinic for the day and then we have some things planned for later tonight oh no but Andy's super tired okay Andy you're gonna have to sleep this off real quick honey and we do not have any coffee are you serious Vanessa are you kidding get out of here oh she needs to use it too but Effie actually has a job unlike somebody so you know you gotta go in oh my god no get in here vanessa i swear she's like doing this to spite me like i'm just trying to get effie ready for the day is she's gonna walk in on her again oh no she's not oh what the heck okay there's some major bugs in this game i don't know what's going on yeah i freaking leave dude oh <laughs> somebody commented on my not my last video but two videos ago telling me to get a doggy door and i kept forgetting but here i am gonna get a doggy door so i'm not forgetting if where even are doggy doors so i feel like now ziggy will be able to go out and go to the bathroom at least i hope so all right macaroni and cheese what was she gonna do ask for advice oh wait is she going on by herself oh my god wait are you going on your own Oh my god! Penny, I'm so proud! She's grown up, guys. She's... What What are you doing awake? What are you... Stop it. Andy, go to sleep, please. Thank you. You know what? Maybe we'll just send Effie today um, to work the vet clinic. Because I feel like he's not going to be able to go. So, Because he's too tired. So we're just going to have her go off to the vet clinic alone. Uh, change it to your vet uniform. Oh, there's a dog! Meryl. Let's go introduce ourselves to Meryl. Where's your owner? Oh, there he is. Guadalupe! Guadalupe! Guadalupe Waterman! Oh my god. That's like my favorite name ever. I used to like use that name for like accounts and stuff. <laughs> god that literally gives me so much life okay freaking guadalupe oh there's katarina with her um cat all right let's go ahead and there are no sick pets what do you mean yes they are yes there are okay great patient i love how she's sitting down <laughs> i've never seen meryl acting this way yeah 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 I get it um katarina can you please wait your turn check the chart are you not happy with our service? I mean, we literally just started. So can you please calm down, sir? Thank you. Jeez, so ungrateful. Why is she not having fun with pets? Like, what do you mean? Katarina, I'm literally here with the patient. Can you please stop talking to them? Yeah, I know. Okay, so they have mouth moths, uncontrollable drooling, and what else do you have? You're stinky. You, well, we, we can clearly tell that you're stinky. Can you please get out of the way? I'm trying to have a good angle here. He just keeps getting in the way. Oh no, they're getting stressed. Okay, let, let's just try uh, listen to breathing and then hopefully that doesn't stress the dog out too much. Oh yes, stinky fur. Literally, I, that's what I said. <laughs> okay, but we've got to calm them down first and then we can uh, cure them. You have really pretty eyes, honey. Aww. Mild, what is it? Mild repugnitis? repugnitis? Is that how you pronounce that? I have no idea. <gasps> she reached level three. Effie can now craft scorching cinnamon chew at the medicine crafting table. She has also unlocked a cute pet themed wall decal. There you go. Woo! Cured sickness. Oh, she's already waiting in this room. Oh, see, like, this is how it should work. Okay. Uh, great patient. Where's the cat? I hear. Yeah. Oh, Katarina, you know what? Oh, I'm not happy with how this place looks. Well, I'm sorry we don't live up to your standards. Jeez. Oh my god, wait! I think Dr. Wub. Wait, what is that? The heck? 
exam. All right, take temperature, skin and fur inspection, and let's do listen to breathing. Oh, look, see, we already have two of them. Okay. Oh, we already know what it is. Okay, it's icebox fever. All right. Oh, what? I'm sorry, what? What? What do you mean? Excuse. Why did it just cancel? I didn't even cancel the examination. There you go. Bye. Oh, you're a pretty kitty. Oh, his eyes are so big. Okay, let's go ahead and greet Miss Meredith Song. Greet patient. And I think this will be our last patient for today. And then we'll head off home. Take temperature, skin and fur inspection. So hopefully this also marks two of them right off the bat. Oh, we right already now. know what it is. Okay. Icebox fever. Hello. Okay. Treatment. Administer shot. That was a quick one. Why can't all of them be this fast? Oh, <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, it doesn't look like we have any more patients anyway. So I think it's a good point to stop at here we're gonna go excuse me sir right as we're about to close no 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 i'm sorry but we're closing now thank you quality of service really i think i thought we did pretty well so tonight andy is taking vanessa out on a date because they haven't been out together in a long while especially since they've moved into their new house together. So he's gonna try to take her to a fancy restaurant because we all know what kind of woman uh, Vanessa is. But did she fall asleep watching TV? Did you guys see that? He said she was asleep. Hello. But um, she likes going to fancy restaurants and likes dressing up and everything. So they're gonna head there uh, soon. But Effie, on the other hand, wait, where are the dogs? All right, Vanessa, go take a bath real quick, please. All right, yeah, head on to bed because you're super tired after a six hour uh, work day. I mean, it is the weekend, so I don't expect you to be there very long, but I mean, you did pretty good today. I think I'm gonna have them go ahead and change into their outfits. So this is a more formal uh, restaurant that they're gonna be heading off to. So I need to go ahead and have them change into something nice and classy. So let's see what else he has that he can wear. Um, I mean, I guess this could work. Like he's more of a chill dude. He doesn't really like wearing suits, but this is the best you're gonna get from Andy, unless it's his wedding day. So, we obviously have Miss Vanessa going all out, but Andy, on the other hand, just is not rolling that way. We're gonna go ahead and have them head off on a date. Ex Why do they change out of their outfits? Excuse me. There we go. So let's go ahead and get a table for them both. Uh, request a table. Socialize with your date, request a table. Socialize about meal. Okay, this is this is a pretty nice restaurant, I gotta say. Very nice. Um, excuse me. You don't treat us like this. We are your freaking guests. Can you get to our table, please? Thank you. Are you gonna... Here's your table. Enjoy. Thank you. All right. So we got a table for two. Oh, he's feeling flirty. Okay. So let's go ahead and order... Where is she? She's coming. Miss Snooty herself. Let's hope she orders something um, not too expensive because Andy is on a budget here. If you guys don't already know that. Uh, so let's go ahead and order for the table. Let's just order something for her. So I think what we're going to do is go for a nice red nectar blend for both of them. And then as far as the meal, Andy was, is going to go ahead with the chef's steak. And Vanessa is going to grab herself the herb crested salmon. And I believe that is all we're gonna get for now. So our bill will be a total of 39 simoleons, which takes us under, <laughs> it takes us under a thousand, which is unfortunate, but what can we do? All right, so let's go ahead and talk. Where are you going? Place order with the wait staff. Are they supposed to come to you? I'm sorry, excuse me, sir. I guess that's not how it works in this restaurant. We have to go and get it ourselves. Thank you, we'll bring your order out as soon as it's ready. Okay, go back here and sit down, please. It says to have a deep conversation with her twice. Oh, wow. They're really flirty tonight. Her formal outfit doesn't look as mean, but her everyday wear is what shows her true colors. 
Oh god, okay. Let's talk about how much you love your vet clinic and everything. Because she I don't think she understands how much you do care for animals. Vanessa just became good friends with Andy. Oh wow, that's surprising. <laughs> Our food's here. Yay. Here's your order, thank you. Oh look at that, looks really nice. What about yours? That looks pretty freaking nice as well. Oh, he's drinking his fancy little wine. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to take a nice photo here, but you're kind of in the way. Aww. I mean, this is kind of cute. I'm not going to lie, this is cute. Like, little dates, because I never do this. Like, barely ever. Can you please, like, go away, sir? I'm trying to freaking have a romantic evening with... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> with his girlfriend. All right. Well, I'm not trying to have a romantic date with his girlfriend. He's trying to have a romantic date with his girlfriend. <laughs> Um, complain about dish? No, let's talk about how good it is. Discuss about meal. Or does that say enthuse? I think it said enthuse. But that's fine. Gibbs? Discuss food flavors. Uh -huh. Did he just steal? The, uh, He's not the, done eating. Oh, I thought... I thought he still... Huh. Oh, yay! Did we just get a golden date? Oh, no, we didn't. Almost. Oh, him boy, Almost, not, though. Uh, uh, Friendly. All right, so now we have a golden date. So there's been something that Andy's been hiding from everybody. Not even his daughter knows. And it's that he's been planning to propose to Vanessa for quite a while now. And we know that somebody is not going to be happy when she finds out. Which, I, I feel so bad, but there's not much I can do. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that he's proposing to her. No. Oh my god, look at his face down here. <laughs> Do you see that? Will she say yes? <laughs> Looks like that's a yes. Yep. Oh wow. Okay, well, looks like they're getting married, guys. He just, I don't know, I guess he's just feeling some kind of way about her. Maybe she's like a witch or something and put him under his, her spell or something. That's the only logical explanation I could think of here because he's just not the type to be with this type of woman. And it's like she's just manipulating him and everything. It's not it's not a good it's not a good healthy relationship. Give her a massage. Can she give us a massage? Like what? I guess we'll be nice and offer Who are you clapping? Why do they zoom out of their seats like that? That is like the weirdest thing ever. Uh. Okay, Andy. She has to go pee. Okay, well, so does he. So I guess pee break. The date's about to end and they're going to head off home. Hopefully Effie's asleep. Well, it doesn't look like she is. But I don't think she's going to want to hear what's about to go down. So date complete. Gold medal earned. Legendary date, there is something special in your Sims household inventory to help remember it. Alright guys, time to go home. It is time. Engaged. These Sims are engaged to be wed. Save the date. Oh god. I wonder who's going to tell Effie. Is it going to be Andy or if it's going to be Vanessa? Kind of feel like Vanessa should say it. Say that she's getting married because that's just going to, I feel, piss... Effie off even more. I think we're gonna go ahead. There's no way that I can share news, so I'm just gonna have her come over here and jeer her. Aw, Penny. This will be her way of telling her the the good news. Okay, that looks really weird. I don't think that was a way to tell. <laughs> That's her bragging. There we go. She did not like that. All right, go talk to your dad and tell her, tell him how angry you are about the fact that you are getting married. Yes, vent and complain about your problems. Ugh. She's not happy, happy about it. Look at that. Nope. Oh God, this isn't good. This is literally them sitting down telling Effie they got engaged and they're gonna be getting married. Mm. Yep, I, I feel the same way. Open. Honestly. Oh. Oh, her face! She's so mad! <laughs> I 
I can't. I'm sorry. I feel terrible. But, I mean, it is the way it is. Now, let's go ahead and have the Woohoo to celebrate. Because why the heck not? Woohoo with Vanessa. Oh, is, he, is she forgiving him? I don't know. So many things could be happening right now. Evie just doesn't know how to feel about it. Because she just doesn't want him to get married to anybody else. Because she knows something about Vanessa that... We just don't know yet. Andy, if he knew about it, he'd be heartbroken. So, oh, Andy, Andy, Andy. Little do you know. Sorry, I'm not happy for you guys. So, just bye. Effie just turned on the TV so she couldn't hear anything. But she knows what's going on. She just said, duh. <laughs> what? Andy's going to need to head off to the vet clinic shortly because he needs to go in to work. All right. Oh, she is not happy at all. Effie, I'm so sorry. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh my God. Vanessa, you freaking evil. You're so evil. She's going to be mean to Effie, kind of like rubbing it in her face that, you know, that they got engaged. Him. Yeah, we don't like you, so can you please stop? Rant and rave. <gasps> Vanessa and Effie now despise each other. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys, act normal, act normal. <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna go kick a trash can. She's so mad. Oh my god, Effie, honey. I understand. Things, things are happening, but, like, you can't change it. Your father decided to go ahead and get engaged without telling you. Go ahead and pick it up, because that's not nice. And pick up this poop, too, while you're at it. Oh, boy. Oh, he's giddy about her. Oh, that's so cute. Are you done with your bath yet? Okay. We're gonna go head off to the vet clinic now. Where are you going? Chase Flock? Wait, we can do that? Oh, that just boosted her fun up so much. Oh my god, did you see that? Oh, is he coming to apologize? Aww. That's cute. Alright, but guys, we have a patient here. Let's go ahead and give Effie the first one. Um, so let's go say hey. Can you stop moving, sir? I'm just trying to click on you. Um, greet Deal patient warmly. Why are you being mean to the dog, dog Katarina? What the heck? I'm um, Andy. No. You have a job to do, so come over here and greet patient warmly uh, for inspection and listen to breathing. Oh, she's already level four? Effie can now administer feel-good serum as a treatment at the exam table. She can also now craft the stinkinator at the medicine crafting table. Last but not least, she has also unlocked a cute pet-themed wall decal. Take the temperature and skin in for inspection. All right. The dog has dry, dry eyes, hot feet. They have blazing tootsies. Okay, let's go ahead and... Why would you use a parasite killer? What? Unless there's parasites on the feet. Oh, there you go, bud. Okay, Andy. Oh, looks like we got the treatment for her. Ready? Icebox fever. Nice. Look at us getting so good at our job. <laughs> Rating increased! We have 2 out of 5 stars now! That's so good! We have 12 reviews, quality of service, bedside- we have excellent bedside manner, look at that! We're doing so well, I'm so proud. Okay, I guess we can let Andy take his little nap. Oh, the crafting table is only 650, so you know what? Let's go ahead and buy one. And this is the cheap one too. Hey Herman, I actually don't know what's wrong with you. Is this just a checkup? I didn't read what it said, so I'm assuming so. Oh no, he has rainbow poop! Rapid heartbeat. Oh my god, Herman! Prismatic poop plague! <laughs> That's a funny name for it. Biscuit with medicine eggs. There you go. Alright. Looks like Effie is once again taking over. I mean, Andy did have a long night. He hung out with Vanessa all night long, so... You know, not much we can do about that. Go ahead and greet the patient and friendly introduction to the dog. So Taz has three ring flea circus. Let's go ahead and treat. Okay, I'm sorry. 
Oh, I mean, that's the wrong treatment. That's the wrong treatment. Please don't. Okay. Treat with Parasite Killer Spray. All right, Andy. Oh, no. This dog is super stressed. All right, let's calm the patient down. What's your name? M Magnus. All right, we're gonna take a temperature. We're gonna listen, examine mouth, and examine skin and fur. All right, we have one more thing that we need to figure out. Let's test the ears and let's see. Oh, he leveled up to level four as well. Okay, so this dog has repugnitis, so we need to go ahead and treat with organic disinfectant spray. Nice job. So that's it for today. Sorry, dude, but we're closing now. We are closing for today. So we've done pretty well. We got our two stars. All right, so now moving on to the giveaway. So I'll be giving away another code of the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs expansion pack. Now, last time when I did the giveaway, you guys had up to three entries. This time around, you have 11 plus a little bit more, I believe. Um... And the first thing they have to do is when you see this page, well, you're not going to see this exact page. This is, like, my page on Gleam. But you guys will see, like, this little box where it says your, your entries, total entries, days left, blah, blah, blah. You guys will see that. And the first thing you have to do is, well, subscribe. So you're going to click subscribe here. All right, so now that you've subscribed, you already have one entry here. And then you're able to enter using YouTube. So then the next one is watch a video, and that one is plus one per day. You can enter using Twitter, retweet um, my, my tweet on Twitter. That is an extra entry. Um, tweet on Twitter. It'll be like it'll say like I entered Nixel's The Sims Four Cats and Dogs giveaway, um, and you can also do that once per day. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, tweet with the hashtag Nixel giveaway once per day, uh, enter using Twitch, and then the next one is if you're a subscriber of mine on Twitch, not a follower, but a subscriber, that's also an extra entry, and then follow me on Twitch.tv, and that is pretty much it. I just feel like this website's gonna make it easier and a lot less hectic because it took me about an hour to get everybody's entries in. This should make it a lot easier. And, uh, yeah, good luck, guys. Oh, yeah, and I just want to let you guys know that the giveaway will end on Friday, November 24th. So you guys have a few days to enter, and you guys have those multiple entries that you guys can do. Hopefully this whole Gleam thing works out. I'll probably, like, comment on this video saying, like, the giveaway is closed and the winner has been chosen. Um, and then you guys go ahead and check your emails, and I'll wait for a reply back. So make sure to check your emails. I think that's the way that it's going to be notifying the winner. So... Yeah, and if I don't like the way that Gleam does it this time, we'll just go back to how I did the last giveaway, and you guys can let me know what you prefer better. Alright guys, that is all I have for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye guys.